Dr. Mindy here, and on this video, we're going to answer the question, I guess I'm going to answer the question, about is fasting scientifically proven for women? It's a really good question, and some of you have asked it, so I really want to explain it. And if you are new to my channel, I just want to say welcome. I'm a woman on a mission. We are going to change healthcare for everyone with fasting but women. This book is going to change chronic disease and metabolic syndrome for women. I promise you, there is so many good nuggets in this. This is becoming the go-to manual for women, uh, for fasting and for health, so I'm excited to share it with you. Um, and it's coming out December 27th. So if you're new, hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, and let's talk about the science of fasting for women. Enough already, Mindy, let's dive into this. Here we go. So Fast Like a Girl, it's ready for pre-order now. I hope this book changes your life the way the information has changed hundreds of thousands of women that have applied it. From the bottom of my heart, enjoy and let's get healthy together. Okay, mildly in love with my book. Um, heart and Soul is in it, but I love the cover. Let me know what you think of the cover. Maybe, be kind. I love the color. How about that? Let me know what you think of the color. Um, I just want to say that there, uh, a lot of you have asked about the science for women. Let me start there. Um, we are there. We are really hard to study. When I go to my enlightened view, I say we're just hard to study. We have our all. So many of us are hormonally different. We have hormones coming and going, so we're really hard to study. Um, I mean, think about it. If I was to put a, study a group of women. Um, I would need to line them up in the, the proper time of their cycle to get a really accurate view of how fasting is affecting hormones. So, so we have that complicating factor. So there's very few studies for women. We also have, unfortunately, a, a lot of people believe we just haven't put a lot of research dollars into studying women. And maybe because we're so difficult, so there's not a priority and we're difficult. Having said that, in all the research that I've done on fasting, which has been a lot, and all the research I have brought you all, they usually fall into one of these studies will fall into one of two categories. Um, first, it might be an animal study, a mouse study. Now, I look at the mouse studies as they get us in the ballpark. So, I, you know, it kind of gives us something to work with, and then we apply it to our body. We put it through the lens of our hormones, and we see what works. That's what you, you, all of us here on my channel have been doing. So when you get this book, know that it's a combination of the science and the application of millions, millions of women, almost 29 million views on my channel here, depending on when you're watching this. We have had thousands, hundreds of thousands of comments from all of you. We have seen this work over and over and over again. I have something in here called the fasting cycle that is built around the science of fasting so that women can use it because we don't have a study that is unique to a woman's cycle. So when we look at the animal studies, it gets us in the ballpark and then we have to apply them. When we look at the male studies, I want you to keep in mind that we have sort of two things going on with the differences between men and women. Men are driven by one hormone. They're driven by testosterone. It, it, it's, the, it's the hormone, it, it actually converts into estrogen in their brain and they get testosterone every 15 minutes. So your men, you are on a 24 hour hormonal cycle. Women, we're not on a 24 hour hormonal cycle. We're on a 28 day to 34 day cycle. We're all a little different. And so we, I just for sake of lingo, we're on a monthly cycle. So with men, you've got C testosterone in and out every 15 minutes. You see with women, estrogen comes in for 10 days. And then all of a sudden, testosterone comes in for five. And then all of a sudden, you see estrogen come back and then progesterone comes in for another seven days. So there needs to be, there's like this ebb and flow that goes with our hormones, which is why I created this fasting cycle. So in the new book, I lay out six different science-based fasts. And in these science-based fasts, it's actually my favorite chapter. It spent me, it took me months to write this one chapter. It took a lot of, of uh, research, a lot of 
really wordsmithing. My editor and I spent a long time on this chapter getting it where we wanted it, but it's so important and I'm so proud of it. And it's chapter two, it's called The Healing Power of Fasting. And in this chapter, I lay out six different fasts, the science behind the fast and why you would wanna do the fast. What I want you to do when you get to this chapter is I want you to start to think about this. Like you'll see, I just, I give like bullet points. Like here's why you would do this fast. What I want you to start to see is that it's like a Swiss army knife. You know, sometimes you pull out the big knife. Sometimes you pull out a little knife. Sometimes you pull out the wine opener. Sometimes you pull out the tweezers, you know, there, it, but it's a tool that's really helpful. So fasting is the same way. And when I lay out those fasts, what I want you to know is most of them have either been done on mice or they've been done on men or a mixture of men and women. So with that in mind, I do want to highlight one of my favorite studies on women. And it's in the book and it's really, really important that we highlight this because it is a, a study about breast cancer. So, and it was an observational study of over thousands of women and what they found is that if a woman coming out of traditional chemo radiation care for, um, you know, for breast cancer, um, if she, after she came out of all that traditional care, she went into something as little as 13 hours of fasting. If she went into that for every day, she didn't even cycle her fast. This was just every day that within 30 days, she had a 64% uh, less chance of a reoccurrence of breast cancer. Now, I don't know a drug that can hit that mark. So that was an observational study done on women. And we know that if you want to prevent breast cancer, if you want to have a diagnosis of breast cancer, you want to make sure that you are fasting very fairly regularly at least 13 hours now in the book if you're a cycling woman i'm going to show you how to do that to match it to your cycle so when we're looking at science i really want you to not ignore a science a piece of science because it was done on a mouse or a man i want you to go okay that put me in the ballpark now in this book i'm going to teach you how to see it through a hormonal lens and then once you get to know how to see it through a hormonal lens, you're gonna know how to read future studies and understand how they apply to your hormones. The second thing I don't want you to fall prey to is a lot of times women, we will see big media articles out there that say fasting is not good for women um, and fasting is not gonna help women lose weight. And when I dove into those studies and, and see those studies uh, many times, like there was a really famous one that came out about intermittent fasting and it was like, intermittent fasting doesn't help you lose weight. Well, they needed to come to my YouTube channel because it helps everybody lose weight. But when I went and I looked at, the, at, at who was in the study, it was everything from 19 year old boys to, uh, or men to um, 65 year old women. There is no way we should ever put met a 19 year old man and a 65 year old woman in the same study, especially when it comes to weight loss. So we've got to dive into that nuance. But what I ultimately want women to know is yes, there is science. Is it always applicable to you? No. But is there an effective way to take that science and use it for your hormonal imbalance, uh, uh, advantage? Absolutely. And so I actually gonna share a really cool comment that came on YouTube that I, I just love. And it was from Rika. And I guess she just found my video. She said she fell, fell in love with, with me today. Thank you, Rika. Um, and she watched two of my videos and she already feels scientifically supported. And I think this is really important because she, she goes on to say that she was understanding that she and her husband had different bodies, obviously, but she didn't understand why she needed to fast differently. And that's what she learned through, um, through my channel. And she goes on to talk about that her body has been craving what I've been explaining um, and that it ultimately, not just the fasting cycle inspired her, but knowing the science behind it inspired her. So science is important. Application of that science to yourself is more important. So in Fast Like a Girl, I bring you the science. Now let's apply it to you. And chapter two has all the science you need to know. So if you pre-ordered the book, 
I hope you have. Put it in the notes. Um, I'd love, I'd love to know those of you that are pre-ordered. So grateful for you. And um, there, I want to let you know that we are doing a really fun webinar, a, a woman empowerment webinar um, that is built around helping you women come together. And I've brought uh, Leanne Rimes, Danica Patrick, and Elle McPherson are joining me on a webinar to talk about how you're going to hear how they're applying the principles of Fast Like a Girl. I, are, I can tell you already, all three of them have done it. Um, you're also going to hear how um, they are managing their hormones and what they're doing for their hormones. But more importantly, you're going to hear how these incredibly beautiful and successful women um, have used uh, f the discovery inward and, the, and, and really finding their own authentic selves um, in, in a world where they've got a lot of eyeballs on them. They got a lot of people projecting onto them. Um, I've asked them to come and talk about how they found their true nature and their authentic selves. And, and it's a beautiful story. So join me for that. It's called the masks we wear webinar. Um, and your ticket in is just fast like a girl, a pre-order of fast like a girl. So you can find out more at fastlikeagirl.com. Um, if you are a woman that like Rika, who has been watching my stuff and really benefiting and seeing hormonal changes, please put it in the comments so we can all learn from it. We're all in this together. So as always, I hope that helps.